Patricia Gibson. Yeah. And I should declare an interest, Mr. Speaker, that in the 80s and the early 90s, I myself worked in high street betting shops, and I very much welcome this announcement. The betting industry has warned that the £2 stake for properties will result in thousands of betting shops closing and up to 21,000 job losses. Does she agree with me that if outlets do close, it is because they were opened specifically to house these machines? And the real danger to jobs in the bookmaker, bookmaking industry is the deployment of self-service betting terminals. Um, Mr. Minister. Mr Speaker, um, I think it's only fair that I do inform the House that we actually received a significant number of people for, who work in um, bookmakers calling for us to make these state reductions or ban them altogether because what they've seen is a change in customer behaviour when they go into the betting shops and actually many of their addictions to these machines has led to violent and intimidating behaviours towards members of staff, sometimes in bookmakers that are, are single staff. Um, and so while we do recognise that there may well be an impact on jobs. Uh, we will work closely with colleagues um, across government within our partner uh, organisations to try and make sure that we support uh, members of staff. Uh, but we are seeing a shift in the way that uh, gambling is being done anyway, and there's been significant consolidation uh, within the industry. Um, so this is an industry that's changing, uh, regardless of today's announcement. Uh, but we want to make sure that we support safety of staff.